itself. And another thing, let's talk about breaking sticks. And this is for the activist people too who are watching or the Humane Society or PETA or PETA or whoever the fuck you guys are. You know what I'm saying? You guys have a problem. You guys have a problem with not just American Pitbull Terrier owners who have a breaking stick, okay? But just the breaking stick in general. Now, I would like to know. Educate me. This is a message to the Humane Society or to whoever these people who have a problem with breaking sticks. Now, to, to whoever this may concern to, okay? If I'm walking down the street, okay? Actually, if you're walking down the street, this is to the Humane Society people. If you're walking down the street and you're walking your little animal, you got a Shih Tzu. And you're walking down the street, dog is on the leash, okay? And another dog is loose. It happens. And that dog is a German Shepherd. And it runs up to you. What are you going to do if it bites your dog? We know your first reaction is, okay, you pick up your little dog. Okay, let's just say the dog is fucking insane and it starts biting you and it grabs a hold of your dog. Explain to me, and this is to the Humane Society people, explain to me how and what you would do to pry the German Shepherd's mouth off of your little Yorkie's fucking body or whatever. What do you do at that point? I would like to know at that point. Because at that point, 12, 13 seconds into that, your little Yorkie is going to be done. Okay? So, so the good thing about breaking sticks, whether you own an aggressive breed, a big breed, or you own little dogs, if any of the individuals or get caught up in a situation, a breaking stick will save your dog's life. There's nothing you these Humane Society people do. These Humane Society people can have their own fucking pets walking down the street. And if they get put like put in the situation that their dog is being bitten, what are they going to do? No, stop it. No, that's not nice. What are you going to do? You're going to put a thumb up the dog's ass? What are you going to do to save your animal, man? What are you going to do to save your animal? You know, let's just say you have a Datsun, like, like those little like a, a fucking long hot dog dogs. And another, say, a bulldog, American bulldog is loose. Just saying. And it bites your dog or you go to the park. Everybody lets your dog loose at the fucking park. What, what happens if it bites your dog and it's shaking? What are you going to do? You're going to scream so loud that the dog's going to stop? So before you pass judgment on people who own breaking sticks, okay, you got to ask yourself, it's meant for protection. It's meant to save lives. Everybody, no matter what breed, should own a breaking stick. And if you have an answer, if you have an answer to how I can prevent or how, or, or how I can break apart a big dog that's attacking my dogs, my little dogs, I have chihuahuas too. What do I do if, if a big dog is, is biting my chihuahua? Do I call you guys? Do I call you guys and wait till you guys come an hour later while my dog's ripped apart? Fuck no. So let's stop with the bullshit, okay? Because that's another thing that fucking pisses me off is, is, is these narratives that these activist people push. And these are the questions you need to ask. These are the questions you need to ask. Right, you know? We can't have treadmills now, right? But the police canine unit in each of your states have them. The police canine units have breaking sticks. They have treadmills, right? I live in Vegas, bro. It gets 100 degrees outside. I'm not going to walk my dog in the scorching fucking heat. What, what if I have to go to work in the night, right? You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. A treadmill is there for a quick workout for any fucking breed. Pure and simple. Not every apple that falls from the tree is a bad apple. You can't do that. And this is why if you get caught up in a situation and you go to court and they ask you, why did you have this? Why do you got a breaking stick? Well, your honor, this is why. 
Now, again, if they have an answer or you have a special class on, on how to mag magically save a dog from being bitten from a bigger dog with thick, sign me up. Where's the website? Like, sign me up for that. Because that's how a lot of dogs get hurt on the street or in the park because of that. You know, and at the end of the day, they're animals. Look what happened to Caesar Milan. Did you guys see the episode? A golden retriever. A golden retriever almost ripped his fucking hand off. Right? You know what I'm saying? Now, again, right? What if that golden retriever completely snapped and grabbed his arm and was shaking and shaking and shaking and shaking and shaking? You saw Caesar try to kick the dog, but there's dogs that just black out. Like, these are animals, bro. What are you going to do at that point? No matter who you are, what you are, what type of dogs you have, you got to have a breaking stick. If you have Yorkies, have a breaking stick. If you have Chihuahuas, have a breaking stick. If you have Dalmatians, have a breaking stick to prevent injury from your dog or the other dog. It's the most safest and smartest thing to do. You know, and I understand the news and these guys, they push this narrative, oh, this is for this, this is for that. But that's how you fight back. Statistics, you know, knowledge, right? If they say, why do you have this? Well, how do you expect it? How do you expect me to prevent injury if this happens? You got them. Because it's happened to me real life. Real, why did you have this? Well, because of this, officer, that's why. How, how do you expect me to fucking prevent stuff if I'm going to the park or going for a walk? Right? Perfect example here. No bullshit. Where I live, there's one girl. She's 75 pounds, man. She's 75 pounds, and she walks two, I don't know if they're pit bulls, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But two big, strong breed dogs. Walking both of them at the same time, dragging her on, on little harnesses, like a little thin harness that'll snap. You know how frightening that is? What if an old lady is walking her dog and those dogs just snap? Like, what, what do you do at that point, man? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Fucking bullshit, man. So again, guys, you know, if they say something... You got to kill it with common sense. If they question you why, this is why. You know? Bottom line, you know what I'm saying? Treadmills is not meant to... Treadmills is there for an easy exercise. If it's cold outside, if it's hot outside, you don't got to put them in that type of weather. Throw them on the treadmill. You're not forcing the animal to run. It's a free spinning. When the animal stops, the treadmill stops. Then it jumps off. It's done. It's, it's there for a quick exercise, for convenient. If you got to go to work and, you don't, and you're tired and you don't want to go for that half an hour walk, throw them on the treadmill for 15 minutes and it's done. That's what it's really there for. Again, it, it, not every apple that falls from the tree is bad. I mean, th this bullshit has to fucking stop. You know what I mean? <clears throat> No, guys, 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 no bullshit. I really, what I really want to do, I actually want to record it. I actually want to record one of these, like, I'm not going to go to there where they're at, but, you know, they're always around Walmart and stuff. And and I just want to hide my phone and just record like this and just and just ask them the same scenario. Um, You know, do you work for so-and-so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a quick question, you know, breaking sticks. What are your thoughts? I would get their thoughts on it. Well, it's meant for this, meant for that. Okay. The same shit I said right now, I would like to get an answer live and just post it and just be like, what do you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? This is shit you have to tackle. This is shit. If they say, oh, it's meant for this. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's meant to prevent injury. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just common sense, you know? So... Again, guys, 